Economic military indicators suggest Russia is preparing for large-scale war with NATO, ISW. Some economic and military indicators suggest that Russia may be preparing for a large-scale conventional war with NATO, likely on a shorter timeline than what some Western analysts have initially posited, the Institute for the Study of War assessed in its report. Although not an imminent threat, the ISW assesses that Russian President Vladimir Putin's emphasis on growing Russia's economic and military capabilities is an indication that Russia is gearing up for conflict beyond a protracted war in Ukraine. Following Putin's rigged victory in the 2024 Russian presidential election, the Russian leader met with party faction leaders in the Russian State Duma, Russia's lower house, to emphasize Russia's priorities in growing the economy. According to a readout released by the Kremlin, Putin emphasized the need to grow the new elite that will mature on the front as opposed to supporting Russian oligarchs who have lined their pockets in amassing wealth through privatization and corruption after the fall of the Soviet Union. The ISW suggests that by outlining a mandate to Russian political elites, Putin is likely seeking to stabilize Russia's long-term financial position with increased government expenditure. Putin's willingness to risk his relationships with the wealthy strongmen who support him points to more expansive military ambitions. Despite opposition from some Russian oligarchs at the start of Russia's full-scale invasion, a shift to a wartime economy will reportedly grow Russia's gross domestic product by 2.6% this year, with 3.6% growth in 2023. The ISW also assessed that an expansion of Russia's military capabilities, as well as military restructuring, are indicators that Russia is setting conditions for the possibility of future direct conflict with NATO. The ISW gave no timeline as to when they believe a direct conflict with NATO may play out, noting that a timeline for Russia's preparedness to launch an attack against NATO is heavily reliant on the financial resources Putin is willing to put against military efforts. From March 20th, access to a number of settlements in the Belgorod region of Russia is restricted. Governor of the province Vyacheslav Gladkov announced this in a video message published on Telegram. The head of the region said that the decision to restrict traffic was made within the framework of preparation of additional security measures for residents of the Gravoransky district. According to Gladkov, access to the territories of Kazinka, Koropodl, Glotovo, Gravoran, Novostroyevka Pervea, Novostroyevka Terea and Bazimanin will be restricted. This means that posts will be established where employees of the Ministry of Internal Affairs, National Guard, Border Service of the Ministry of Defense and the administration will stand, the governor clarified. The announcement came a day after Russian President Vladimir Putin said the Kremlin wants to create a buffer zone to help protect border regions from long-range Ukrainian strikes and cross-border raids that have occurred with more frequency in recent months. Civilian areas of Belgorod have been struck with particular frequency in recent weeks. According to Gladkov, 16 people died, and 98 were wounded over the last week. It should be recalled that on March 19, Russian President Vladimir Putin spoke about the attempts of sabotage groups to infiltrate Russia. On March 17, the Freedom of Russia Legion fighting on the side of Ukraine announced that it had taken control of the settlement of Belgorod. On March 15, Andrei Yusov, a representative of the General Intelligence Department of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, stated that sabotage. Groups have turned Russia's Belgorod and Korsk regions into an active combat zone.